Next question is from Jade Taylor Turner. What's your opinion on F45 training? Mm. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Now, they're they're kind of like uh, Orange Theory, yeah, right? Yeah. Where they, they do a lot of the circuits and they go from exercise is to exercise. Is that what that is? Yeah. I wanted somebody to... Because like, I know Orange Theory, obviously. I've, I've even done one of their workouts, but I, I've never seen a F45. Very similar. So You know most about it. Yeah, yeah. Less tech, more lifting weights. Okay. So, you know, Orange okay. Theory has... They do three rotations. You have uh, rowing, running, and then weight section. And then they rotate throughout the hour and every block every time you do a workout it's a little bit different but for the most part it's one third one third one mm -hmm. third uh f45 is primarily like more boot camp style like you go get your weights kind of you guys remember how uh, like body pump was in yeah. The yeah so you have like a little station yourself and you have the little mini barbell and weights or dumbbells and a, an instructor that's teaching like this weight training class so it's a little more focused on weight training than Orange Theory now, is. Now, is it traditional resistance training where you rest? And no, all that, or it's, it it's still very circuit-like. Yeah. yeah, it's still very circuit-like. They're not, you know, and, and that's it's it's unfortunate because, you know, it wouldn't be a bad model, but they, they know for reasons to keep people entertained and going right. is to is to keep the could you imagine a group x or a, a group instructor like this standing up front of, and making everybody okay we're gonna rest for two minutes yeah, now. what do we do for yeah. two minutes yeah and just <laughs> everyone's standing they still. gotta have real good stories or like yeah you know anecdotes to yeah throw so, in there. i yes. mean i remember when i was teaching orange theory i would yell this right i would stop a class like i'd turn the music off stop the class and i'd yell at everybody in the weight train rest yeah stop if you are able to go around and around with no rest go heavier you need to go heavy enough and i want to look over here and see people sitting down i remember having to yell at people tell mm -hmm. people that like i want well, to see you resting i remember you saying too and i thought this was brilliant when you'd have those rest periods where you'd actually educate them like you'd pick a topic you'd say something about nutrition that uh, you know you could kind of use that time to educate instead of just right. you know wasting yeah. it and looking around aimlessly yeah the weakness with f45 is the same weakness you see with lots of, of group classes with weights number one it's not resistance training it's cardio with weights you could do cardio with anything and this is a cardio with weights type of class Number two, it's a class, mm -hmm. um, and it's very difficult to tailor workouts when you're dealing with a, with that group uh, type environment. Now, is it smart business and marketing? Well, yeah, it's fun, it's exciting, it's probably exploding. It's probably gonna, you know, at some point hit a peak and then tank like other fitness uh, trends and fads do. But as far as a workout is concerned, you're gonna get some conditioning, some stamina, and you'll get some cardiovascular work done. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for the benefits that resistance training provides where you're building muscle, speeding up your metabolism, making your body more resilient in that particular sense, um, then you're doing the wrong thing. You want to do the, traditional. They have Mark Wahlberg, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, there yeah, you well, go. That's how it. I Mark, Mark Wahlberg. And save your DMs, okay? Because I know we're going to get DMs of people that work there and like, oh, Adam, this and that, da, 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 da. They're all going to say, <laughs> I mean, that's every time we talk about something like that, like we, uh, you know, offend anybody that works there. Listen, it's, it's cool, dude, but it's not ideal. It's just... Group training will never be ideal for people. There's there's such an individual variance for every single person that if you have a classroom yeah. of 12 to 15 people, and, the, and here's the thing, group training for, for, for muscle, for building muscle and burning fat, not ideal. Could you do yoga or like a, mm -hmm. a priming class, like mm -hmm. where everybody, it's a little bit different, like the goals are different. Yeah. And so you can get away more with that, but something that's as yeah. specific as or conditioning, like on a sports team or something. Well, there's just so many more variables that that dictate whether you're going to lose fat or build muscle. Yeah. If they're if one person in that class, their diet is dialed in this this way, a modality of training, they haven't trained this way in a long time. This might their body might respond perfect mm. for this class, but then that maybe that person who's right next to them doing the same thing is in a is in a too much of a caloric deficit or over consuming that it doesn't even really matter. Matter, or not resting whatsoever and, and doing light weights. Mechanics so it's matter so much yeah, with so traditional many, resistance so training variables. and how your body moves. It matters so much. And I'll look, I'll even argue uh, against what you're saying. Uh, yes, you could do class in yoga. Will it, is it far superior to have an instructor do yoga with just you? Yeah, no. absolutely. So right. it's, it's the same weakness you see with all classes, but as far as resistance training is concerned, you get like this much of the benefit of resistance training. It's mostly cardio. Mm-hmm.